Hey guys, Ryder Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Power of the Primes Hunger. Um, I'm three years late of this figure. I had this figure um, when it first came out. I haven't done a review on it, and um, I never really got to review. Uh, I, I don't know why it was so late, but then I decided to um, just, just, just to do it, because why not? Because I had this figure for so long, and haven't been doing transformer reviews in so long so uh here's the 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 box it's a it's a it's, uh it's a box uh so you got the transformers logo here uh with the very nice picture of hunger and his two-headed dragon mode power of the primes hunger um and on the back here you got all the poses and stuff like that uh and there's a little read up on there if you want to read that uh um so yeah uh he does have some stuff in the box, and I'll get that uh, get that in more close up so shots. So uh, you can actually see me throw this box. So uh, we can get out to the close up and stuff like that. So let's go. So I mentioned when I was doing the box close up, uh, I mentioned that there was stuff in the box, and so uh, here they are. Uh, they're just two things. You got a card here. Um, I mean, it doesn't really do much for me, but, um, it doesn't really do much for me. Got a nice, uh, very nice, it's the exact same pose and picture that was on the front of the box, but you got a lot more details and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, you got the Power of the Primes Hunger, and he's also a Terracon, and he's a Decepticon. Um, and then you got the Alpha Trident Hunger of the Brilliant Leader who armies leave nothing in their wake. Uh, so... Uh, I was watching some reviews on this uh, to see if, if I if I'm going to miss any like details or anything. Apparently, there's different cards included. It still has the exact same front artwork, just just a different thing in the circle. So I don't know what that's about. Uh, very nice card doesn't really do anything for me, but that's okay. Um, then you got the instructions. Oops. Um, sorry about that. Uh, but he does, you got the instructions and stuff like that, so, uh, you got the lawn instructions and nobody really cares, so let's move on to the actual thing itself. Here he is, uh, he's a pretty big boy, he's a pretty big boy, um, can't really see him. There we go. There we go. Uh, there are stickers on this figure. You can see the stickers uh, that are on his shoulder here. And they're actually on this, on the front here. Uh, there's these stickers here. And then there's tiny stickers on the top of his head. Um, so these, uh, they do kind of, uh, you don't have to put them on. I don't remember if I did put them on or nothing. Because, you know, three years and I haven't done a review and I don't care. So, yeah, um, uh, I have to be honest here, the robot mode looks very fantastic. I don't mind this bit. Um, when I got it and I was, uh, displaying, uh, Oreo got it, so half of his tail ripped off, so, whatever. But, I have to admit, the robot mode looks awesome. Uh, I really like the coloration. I really like the, the type of, uh, colors that they use. The, the white and the gray and the the pink is purple and the blue. It, it just makes the character pop that much more. It just makes the character pop. And um, there aren't very, like, certain spots on the back that don't really, like, that I don't, like. Uh, like, these these little things here, there these are gaps here, and then you got stuff like that. Uh but after all, that's just that's what you get. Um, and he does, and his face. Uh, I love his face. It looks very '80s esque. It looks very '80s esque to me. It looks like the the G1. Uh, I don't know much about Hunger uh, except for this toy. Uh, but I don't know what Power of the Primes is. Is it a TV show? Is it an app? Can somebody please tell me in the comment section because I'm dumb and I don't know anything. But, uh, but I think that um. Uh, Hunger is probably one of my favorite Decepticons or Transformers characters pretty much ever. So, there's not much detail in here. I like the spines on the vein or whatever. But I guess we can go on to the articulation. 
uh, oh, close up on his face for a second. Uh, his visor is dented. You can kind of see that there. It's dented, and I don't know why. And also, some of the stickers are falling off. I mean, the, the Decepticon logos aren't falling off anytime soon, but I'm more worried about that one, uh, the ones on the side, and the ones on his head. That's the most worried about. So, uh, before we go into the articulation, sorry for the articulation, he does have some accessories. So, put him back here for now. He does have some, he does have three accessories, but so he does have these which are his guns and um uh yeah and also it looks weird because they're actually the feet of another mode that he has yeah he transforms into three so he's kind of like devastator in a way that you you can get more you can get a lot of terracons and then you can build them up like devastator basically and these are the feet of the giant robot um i don't know his name kind of forgot it um but yeah those are the accessories i'll show you what they do in a minute and he has the the Terracon Enigma, um, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a, uh, yeah, he, you can fit it into his gun, like that, and also if you want it out, you just have to push this little thing here, that's the tip of it, and then you just kind of have to, uh, pull it out, or you could just do this, uh, which is way easier, um, uh, uh. God damn. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically what that does. It's There's no... Yeah, that's basically what it does. Okay, so, let's go on to the guns. Um, these, these pegs right on the hands here. You can put them on here. You can put them on here. Um, uh, yeah, um... I mean, they look good, don't get me wrong. Uh, I like them uh, very much, but it makes the the arms a little bit bulky. What I like to do is this. You want to twist these arms, and then you have this little pit here, and you put it in there, and then you have to uh, flip this around. Then you got... Then you got some dual wielding guns, which that is pretty cool. I like that. Uh, it is upside down, but it actually makes it a little bit cleaner, in my opinion, because the top is kind of a mess and you got this gaping hole. But on the back here, I mean, you do have some gaping holes and stuff, but at least it's a little bit cleaner, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, okay, let's get on to the articulation. Let's get on to the articulation. So. His head, uh, hold on, let me focus. His head is on a ball joint, so, uh, yeah, so he, his head is on a ball joint. He can look up that far and down that far. He has a rotation here, and I'm always afraid that's gonna snap. Uh, he has a shoulder ratchet. Uh, that's pretty cool. He's got a, uh, he's got a, another ratchet, but it's not as, um, tight as the shoulder ratchet. And this one over here, and then you got a swivel here. Uh, then you got a bend at the elbow, and then uh, this this is the the foot of the dra uh, the dragon mode. It doesn't plug in. Neither does his wrist or his hand. I'm sorry. Um, I uh, just want to mention if you flip this around, you can see the ratchet. Uh just a heads up if you are gonna try to find this figure or you already have it. Um, I'm kind of worried about that that ratchet right there. I, I don't I don't have a problem with that that ratchet the shoulder ratchet But if you keep playing with this ratchet for very long It's gonna become really loose and then when you when you have the guns plugged in It's just gonna it's just gonna like flop down. So just be worried about that. Just be cautious about that So don't twist it for long. Um, so for his legs here. You gotta you gotta wait uh, you gotta you got this swivel that's rotation here um, then you got, um, you got an in and out movement. That's a, that's a, that's a softer ratchet. Uh, that one feels a little bit more tighter than this one, so be careful with that. And he's also got that Venom joint. And if you don't know what I mean about Venom joint, just check out my, um, my nostalgic toys review. Uh, you're, you're gonna learn how much I don't, I dislike these joints right here. Um, for, so yeah, he does have a bend at the knee, and he's also got that, so, 
And then he's got this, a pivot, a very decent pivot. And I'm also worried about the feet here, because these are the feet. These are the mouths of the dragon mode. Um, so yeah, after a while, I'm pretty sure that those teeth are going to become really um, scratched up. So beware as that is too. Uh, and he also does got a, hold on, beautiful spread. So, um, yeah, pretty much. So, let's get on to the transformation, shall we? Um, and, uh, these accessories will be relevant later. So, let's move on to the, um, the transformation. Okay, so I'm switching to this camera. Uh, I, I, I will be switching cameras to do his two-headed dragon mode. But I'll be mostly doing this camera angle for the last transformation, because it's, it's, it's pretty complicated. But for right now, um... Let's just go on with this. So, uh, you want to flip out his tail here, fold that down, flip his head up. Then you want to close that up, flip that down. Then you are going to going to flip his hands here. Flip that up. They don't pl plug in anyway. Um, so you want to ratchet these down, fold them down like that. And then for the dragon's heads, you want to flip down this, flip down that, flip down the spikes here. And then for the back here, uh, and you want to, uh, flip his front legs down, and then... Um, so yeah, that is the dragon, the two-headed dragon mode. Uh, I said that these will be relevant. Um, these aren't parts forming, by the way. You can transform them with, with his legs, on his legs, but I just like to take them off, um, because it makes it more easier on myself. Uh, so yeah, he's got his, his, he got his side guns, and, um, uh, yeah, pretty much, um, I mean, it's not a solid connection, it's kind of sticking out, but at least that's a little bit good. And for the Terracon Enigma, you go onto his back, uh, his belly here. This is actually the back, I didn't show you this before. You can actually store a Terracon Enigma in his belly or on his back for the robot mode. That's pretty sweet, I actually like that. It's pretty decent. And we'll get to my problems with the dragon mode eventually, but just want to, uh, this dragon mode, um, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it is decent. It's not great. It's decent. So, um, I'll get to my issues later, but for articulation, well, actually, let's go into the details. Oh, I forgot to mention this. You want to flip these spines upward, so then these two spines. Uh, so I like the spines, I like how the tail and the robot mode actually covers up these spines, and um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, the tail would be longer, but you know, Oreo ate it or whatever. So, um, I do like this, I do like how the spines become like vents and stuff on the robot mode. Very nice details, uh, they don't plug in anyway, this one is way looser than this one. Um, so, um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's get into the articulation. It's pretty much the exact same thing in robot mode, but I'm pretty sure some of you guys want to. So, they can split. They can split in half. Uh, they have this swivel. I'm gonna move this. They have a swivel, and they have that god-awful venom joint, so he, he can get some, like, chicken poses, so he's like... Uh, whatever that was. Uh, so he can, his head can move side to side. Um, he can look up that far and down really far. That's for the other transformation that I'll get to later. His mouth, uh, this, this top jaw is way looser than the bottom jaw, jaw. So, but they are, and that one's on a softer ratchet. So they can get some, like, so this one can be, like, opening really far and stuff like that. Um, I want to mention again that I wish he came with more accessories. Just need to grab something. Um, I wish he came with more accessories than the Terracon Enigma and the feet. Uh, they're more relevant in the other mode and stuff like that. But I wish he came with 
laser beams. Because on the thing here, you can't really see that. Laser beams. That would be so cool if you could open his mouth and you can plug like a laser beam in there. It's like Godzilla and atomic breath. That would be pretty cool. Uh, so for uh, these ones, same articulation can move back. They can rotate. Uh, they can't. They move back that far and move back really far. <laughs> uh, they have a in and out. They have a bend at the knee. Uh, and then these things don't plug in at all. And uh, these tiny feet, they just move back and forth. That's all they do, pretty much. So yeah, um, yeah, I'll get to my issues right now. Um, so yeah, as I said in the dra uh, in the uh, before, this is not the greatest. This is not the greatest mode ever. It's decent. It's not great. But I just have some problems. Uh, number one, um, I stated my other problem. Wish he came with more accessories. Store that in his mouth, laser beam and all that. Um, and then these feet right here, these feet, I wish they were bigger. And I wish they had more articulation. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to have a hinge joint for the knee. And I also hate that his front feet, his back feet are bigger than this one. So... He looks like he looks like he's like I don't like that pose at all. I really don't. Um, I really don't like that. It makes him kind of kind of goofy, and he's like leaning down all the time. But the dragon heads can fix that problem. Um, and I also wish that he came with another some more accessories and all that. So yeah, that's basically the dragon mode. Like I said, it's not that great. Um, so yeah, so we can move on to the. The uh, the mode that I that I don't even know what it is. So you guys be ready for this. I'll switch to the other camera angle so you guys can see it because it's it's big. Okay, for the uh, the other transformation, uh, it's pretty big. So you want to do this. Um. So you want to do this here with the the back feet here. Uh, you want to untab this and untab that. So it's like this. And you want to kind of get him into his robot mode in a little bit. So flip these down. And then you want to rotate these around to the spike. So this is going to be his his uh, his belly. Uh, untab this. Untab that. Flip that around. You just have to you just have to turn it. You don't have to rotate the entire thing. And then for this one, you want to spread down uh, these uh, things like this. So he's like this. And on the back here, this is this spine, and you flip this out, and then here comes his giant head. Uh, and then you can see his other head in there. Uh, if you want to cover that, just cover that with a tail. Um, and they do actually clip in, so you want to do this. Um, you want to do this. And then you want to clip that in like that uh, I forgot how to oh forgot you have to flip down the the dragon heads flip down the dragon heads plug down there I'm sorry that my hands are in the way flip that down rotate this around go like this again Uh, yeah, they don't plug in very well. Okay, then for the belly here, you want to untab that, so it's like that. It's on a hinge joint, it's on a couple of hinge joints, so it can move up and down and all that. And you want to flip this down, and then there's this tab on his head right there, and then there's a tab hole right there, then you want to... You want to flip this down, and then you want to flip these up so his so his arms are facing this way, and then and then for the final thing, you want to flip out his antenna, the rubber, and they also flip out at the exact same time so they're connected. Then he's got his bunny antenna. I I, I don't know what this is. Um, it's kind of like Devastator. Um, so yeah. Um, these are the connector bits for the others. 
and I'm guessing that is for the other connectors, but, um, they don't tab in very well. Uh, this one tabs in perfectly fine. They, they, if you squeeze them together, they tab in very well. But if you just let them sit there, then it's not great. Um, and also, I hate this gap. And if you just flip that down, it, the, the tail doesn't really block it. Probably because it's short, And uh, but if there was something there. Um, I do like the detail, though. You got some... Oh, shoot. I almost fell off my chair. There is some detail that you couldn't see before. Like these little, uh, little, little fans or thrusters or whatever that is. Then you got like his, I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, uh, then you got his, he's got that more thruster detail on the, the front of his head. You got that very nice visor and on the back there, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, uh, not fantastic, but I want to, I, I want to show you guys something, uh, this is what I, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I'm pretty sure somebody else has does. Uh, I call this extreme. I'm going to rip your ass out of your socket mode. So or just dumbass mode. I don't, I don't really care. Uh, you you can prefer. Um. So then you wanna you wanna flip these like this, and then you wanna so you wanna rotate that so it's in the uh, the the back dragon mode, and then flip this around. Then you got his bare feet or whatever. Then you want to untab his dra uh, the dragon arms. Flip down the head. Flip down the heads. Hold on. Then you want to untab the heads. Oops. Hold on. This dragon has a little bit difficult to get out. There we go. Okay. Yes. This is what I call, I'm going, uh, whatever I said before. Um, so yeah, uh, you're not even supposed to do this, but I just like to do it because it looks stupid and I love it. Um, so yeah, for, for articulation, uh, backwards, he can move, you can kick that far, move that, back that far, no sort of spread at, oh, what? Beautiful bread, I'm telling you. <laughs> yes. So then you got a, uh, then you got this, uh, you got this bend at the knee. Then you got a swivel, and that's basically it for the legs. Um, then for the dragon arms, you got the, they can move in and out. Uh, they can do that. I don't know what the, I don't know what that is. Um, they can do that. Swivel, and they can go in and out like that words, and then they can. If you do this, then he can be a bend at the elbow, and then for his for his um, hands, uh, they can move side to side, and they can go up and down, and then you can actually split open his hands. And I wish he came with a laser effect part, because if you plug this in, then he could be like, like this. Yes. Like how cool would that be? Like this thing shooting at you. It's very, it's so dumb that I love it. Yes. I'm going to definitely have fun with this. Yeah. And you can also store the Terracon Enigma. So this can be like your heart, his heart or something. So you can like rip out his heart and then hit something like this. But if you do want to do this mode, gaps. Oh, God damn it. Camera fell again. Almost. Uh gaps not a big fan but you can also detach his head ah. and then he can be a headless monster or something <laughs> i like this it's like a chest burster <laughs> plug that in now he's headless oh he has forearms now yes Never mind. He has forearms, guys. He has forearms now. I'm spending way too much time on this mode, am I? <laughs> yes. He's got four. He's got four beautiful arms. That is beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna end the review here, guys. I'm gonna end the review here. Um. So yeah. Um. That's basically it. So. Uh. Bye, guys.